It's your boy Avo, and we back, okay? Ignore the fact that I'm, I'm uploading here and there, right? We're back permanently, I hope. Today we got a bit of a longer video, all right? It's gonna be pretty damn sick. I want you guys to stay tuned through this whole thing because, man, <laughs> check this out. Naruto Shippuden characters, or even like, would, would I call this Naruto Storm 4 in Xenoverse 2? Because that's what it looks like. This is perfectly, like, look at this, dude. That's insane. All right, we got some Narutos. Look, it's even got the one where his, his arms like all oofed up. Looks sick. So we've got a bunch of Naruto's and Sasuke's that we're gonna showcase all up to Barian mode, okay? So stay tuned for this whole thing when we go one by one. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, drop a like, all that good stuff. We, we're on the road to 200k, you already know how it'd be. But yeah, let's check this out. I'm actually really excited to see what we have going on here. So uh, I think the best thing to do here is to take a Naruto and a Sasuke and then showcase them together. And if you can hear that audio, I, uh, that's why we've got some Tenkaichi soundtracks up in here and look at this awesome little tournament stage as well like these modders have kept this game alive so of course if you're wondering how to get these mods uh you do have to pledge to my boy uh biglia okay that's the only way to do it they biglia and yeah but look at how clean this looks dude like hold up so what we'll do is we'll go like this dude look at the quality on this like it's straight up like Storm 4, basically, in Xenoverse 2, and I think that's honestly incredible. So, we're gonna walk over to my boy Sasuke here. Look, he even does the Naruto run! <laughs> he does the ninja run. Alright, Sasuke, look. So, my boy looks forward, and even Sasuke's details are incredible. Like, look at that. He even has, like, the blood going down his eyes here. He's got the Eternal Manga I'm incredibly hyped to check out what their moves are. This is incredible stuff, honestly, so far, it's looking incredibly promising. So, we'll, we'll try Naruto out first. He's got some custom moves, of course, all right. Ooh, all right. Incredible, incredible, all right. So I turned off the HUD for the purpose of this, but I can turn it back on, of course. So we, of course, have the Rasengan, right, which looks sick. So I can just teleport, but I don't want him to teleport. Stop teleporting! I like that he teleports with the Rasengan because I want to see him like when he first does the Rasengan. Hold on. All right, let's take a look at it. All right, so there we go. We got a nice look at it. That looks incredible, dude. Tell me that doesn't look incredible right there. Like, wow. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'll just move myself out of the way and we'll just take a look at the actual game itself. Like, look at that, dude. That is insane. Stuff. And we got a ton of stuff to check out here as well. Obviously, when it comes to the mods, so we haven't even, you know, checked out the actual, like, ultimates here and whatnot. So that's, so we've got, like, the Super God Fist, which is, I guess, like, the Frog Might, or however you say it. Like, the Sage Mode move that he does. There we go. And then we've got the Nine-Tailed Kamehameha, which is awesome. And, of course, he's got, like, his normal Maximum Charge stuff. But then, let's check out, he's got Rust and Shuriken Barrage. Oh, that's, that's like a retextured uh, destructor disc. I dig it. And then we've got Rising Direct Smash. I don't think I've seen that. Okay, did chill. Oh, he, he drops it because I don't think Sasuke has good... Um, Dude, that looks clean. I don't think Sasuke has good hitboxes on him. Yeah, okay, but that's clean, actually. All right, I'll take that. The, please tell me he's got like some sort of... Okay, Evil Flame. So that's... All right. Darkness all clear, so that's like a um, so I would take that as to be like a Matarasu skill. That's pretty smart, actually. Then Vanishing Ball, what would that be? I don't know what that would be, actually. So, Darkness Power Rush. Oh, okay, so that's like Jiren's move, but like kind of with a Matarasu, right? And then Evil Blast of Soul, what would that be? Okay, so it's 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 interesting. And Darkness Break Strike, so that's like a Matarasu type stuff so i mean it's clean honestly it's definitely pretty hard to like if, if you were to try and port some stuff over it would be incredibly difficult to do that right so let's see what his grab is oh he does the vegeta grab okay <laughs> all right now let's try naruto's grab here he does the goku grab of course i mean that does make sense right so we'll go on to the next uh section of characters so we've got Teen Naruto, so obviously not much changes here. Let's go into... Wait, so I think this is like... 
the yeah this is actually the narrative from uh, what do you call it this is the narrative from um like his movie with Hinata in it and because you could see he's got the arm that's wrapped up but he's actually wearing the sage mode outfit here I like that customization that's actually pretty cool but his movesets are very similar and then we've got Naruto's chakra mode so I guess we'll grab that one next right we'll grab that one next and then we'll grab, I guess, Susano Sasuke? That's interesting though, okay. Sure, sure, we'll, we'll check that out next. Yeah, why not? All right. I do like the little customization things here. So we've got Chakra Mode Naruto. Now don't forget, we do have Darien Mode as well, which, is, which looks incredibly promising, all right? When he's got like some God Aura around him as well, that's kind of clean, right? Oh, dude, that's Susano. So hopefully we can see more of an update here. This does look incredible though. I would have personally preferred just to have the just the rib cage. But honestly, that looks incredible. If he if Leo Big Leo wants to do some sort of cool awakening in the future, but I do think this is incredibly tough to do, obviously. So we've got some powering up here. Let's see. So we still have the nine-tailed. Okay, so I'd like to, that does work better here. And then we got the Rasengan, obviously. So this Rasengan, funnily enough, he just keeps going. So he doesn't just teleport, right? So that does look awesome right there. Sweet, sweet. Dragon Smash. All right, let's see this. Nice, nice. Okay, that's clean. Nice. So Ultra Holy Wrath would be... Oh, I see. So it's basically like if he was to do a bunch of different, like, Rasengan's or BG bombs, and then you've got this move again. That does look clean though, that does look clean. Maybe this one will connect with this Sasuke. Oh no, it didn't. Okay, well that's fine. That does not really matter too much. So let's see what Sasuke has got on with his movesets. Okay, dude, I actually really dig the whole Susano thing. So I wanna kind of take a closer look. So let's have a bit of a dark aura around him to mimic the whole Susano. And he's even holding his katana here, which is awesome. That aura does look pretty cool on him. That Susano head's actually pretty cool. I'm pretty sure this is from the perfect Susano, and then this is where Sasuke would go. So I think having a skill where you just have like a giant form, like a giant character as the Susano, and then like shrink like Sasuke and put him up here would be pretty cool. If if of course you do want to do that at some point. So size evil flame. Darkness display, okay. Darkness display for Sasuke, and then he's got like a... Alright, so that's like... I guess him using... Ooh, okay, that's actually quite fitting for Sasuke here. Alright. <laughs> I dig that, that's quite cool. That is actually pretty cool, dude. <laughs> Alright. I, I, I can dig it, I can dig it. Alright, so... I'll, I really like the Dragon Smash move. It, it really fits here. So, of course... This here is actually the chakra mode that he uses against Teneri. Um, I, I love the Nar like the little like <laughs> I like the Naruto run, but no, this is the chakra mode that he does against Teneri in, in Naruto. I, I forgot the move; it's like at the tip of my tongue, right? But now we've got to the big boy. We've got Varian mode. So obviously, with the anime out, it's a bit different. It's not yellow; it's orange. But that's completely fine. This looks incredible. I would actually really like to see this ported into Storm 4, right? Because it's funny because we've seen this in Xenoverse before we've seen it in Storm 4. Hopefully we can get a Storm 5. <laughs> That'd be awesome. So yeah, we've got that and then we've got this final version of Sasuke. And if you look at his arm here, that's actually quite smart. So what Big Lea did, he gave Sasuke a working arm and he formed it out of Susana. Which what did Sasuke do that? That... You know, it's it sounds like it makes sense if Sasuke, because he obviously doesn't have his arm, because he's like, I need to atone for my crimes. It's like, no, right, just just have an arm, dude. It'll make it easier for you to fight. But okay, whatever, Sasuke, just nerves yourself. That's totally cool. So I guess this is the strongest forms of each character. Oh, that looks cool. All right, so I assume he's gonna have a Rasengan here as well. Oh, okay. It's got like some sort of. He just forms that Rasengan here. That's okay. So it's got Nine-Tailed Kamehameha V2. And look at that, dude. Man, RIP Kurama, dude. That, that makes me sad. I'm just gonna count that as non-canon. <laughs> that 
That did not happen at all. It did not happen, I refuse. Karem is fine. <laughs> oh man. But no, this this mod looks incredible. I and mean, he's got like Ultra Instinct Goku's moveset. Oh wait, does he actually dodge? I wanna see if he dodges. Oh he does! <laughs> It's kind of similar to what we've seen him do, actually, because he's kind of just been, like, dodging a bunch of moves here and there. Alright, okay, that's that's clean. So he's got Rasen Shuriken. Wait, he's got an Awakening. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I did not see that, and he's got Ultra Holy Wrath here as well. Let's see his Awakening. Hold up. Chakra Explosion? So I guess that's kind of, like, hits power up. Okay. And then what does he do now? Well, dude, what do you know? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. That's actually so sick. What the hell? That rocks and shuriken sound. Hold up. Okay, dude. Check that out. Check out my boy here with this freaking... <laughs> That's actually so cool. What the hell? Look at that. Damn, man, you gotta be careful. Those could, like, you know, get those Karama bits there. <laughs> That's so sick. Hold on, let's go over to Sasuke. Hey, Sasuke, you scared, my boy? Sasuke, just be like... Nani? But no, look at that. Hold up. Let's get it from Sasuke point of view. Or Sa Wait, can I even... Sasuke, you're too far out, man. I can't see it from your point of view. Naruto over there. Look at all the ninjas in the background like, yeah, we're just watching. Head on. Yeet! Man, I love the Rasen Shuriken sound effect. It's like my favorite move in the actual entire show. Oh, it's so satisfying, dude. Okay, does his moveset change? He just becomes a bit more angry, right? Okay, so that's clean. So now we'll switch over to my boy Sasuke. So he doesn't really have much difference here, actually, if you look at him. I mean, that's okay, though, because I think these are still, like, uh, incredible work in progress. And it's also, it, it would also take so much work just to port these things overall. The fact that Leo Big Leo has done this, right? That he's made, like, modifications to the actual model and basically created Baron Monarcha. It, it takes a lot of work to get stuff like this done, so... Huge amount of respect for that. I hope to see even more characters and customizations and things like that. Because I'm pretty sure he was working on stuff like that um, for the future of this like, pack. So I'm actually pretty excited to see where we go from here, you know? And this is the end of the showcase. If you guys want to check this out for yourself, make sure to go in the description below and go to the Patreon, of course, over there. Uh, because that's the only way to get this right now. If you want, support me on Patreon as well. It's the easiest way to support me. I'm planning on basically putting videos out there earlier than they come out on YouTube. So, of course, I mean, you don't have to do any of that, right? Like, I was going to use YouTube memberships, but then like, they take a pretty big chunk out of that, and I want to be able to put all the money from that back into the channel for, like, equipment and different stuff like that. But that's besides the point. Check out some uh, other content up here as well. I was, I was, like, doing some hand jutsu things. What the hell? <laughs> but, yeah. Just check it out up here, some Storm content, other things like that. I'll be doing a bunch of different Naruto stuff on the channel as well. I absolutely love this series, and I'm just happy to go back to my roots, because before any Dragon Ball stuff that I made, I used to be a Naruto-tuber. I used to mod this game. This is, like, going way back, like, 2014. I And it feels good to be back, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, again, thank you guys so much for the support. You guys are amazing. I truly wouldn't be able to be here without any of you guys. You guys make this channel what it is. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I wish you an absolute wonderful day. Peace.